Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new, I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. I'm back, I'm back among the living. I was so sick last week so I did not have a video up. I don't know what I had exactly but it was terrible. Some sort of virus I guess and I felt awful. I was in the bed for several days and so no video last week, didn't do anything interesting anyway, but today I'm feeling better, thank goodness, 100% better, and I'm headed to town, and I'm going to head to Aldi this morning. I love to go in there for one thing and just look at like all of their um, home decor and like all those little seasonal items that they have out. They have like one whole aisle for that, and I love to just go in there and browse around and see what I can find, and also I just like to see what food items I can find. I don't really have a grocery list. I'm not looking to get like a full grocery haul or anything like that, but I am going to share what I buy grocery wise or home wise or whatever, but I'm going to take you with me inside the store to like look at that little aisle I was talking about. So we'll see what kind of goodies we can find. Do y'all have any luck finding stuff at Aldi? Do you have an Aldi? Y'all let me know down in the comments and let's go to town and see what we can find. When I first walked in, I noticed a little bit of outdoor stuff, and I came across these really big planters. They were huge. They're lightweight. They were $24.99 each, which I thought was a good price. They also had just some other outdoor stuff here, a pergola. That looked really pretty, actually. I think it was $1.89, maybe. These were actually indoor rugs, but I thought they were really gorgeous. Six foot six inches by nine foot. They had some really pretty colors, and they were so soft for only $89.99. They always have the best like food storage containers. These were a little two pack with a lid in pretty designs and colors. I thought those floral ones were so cute and they were only $8.99. And then look at these knives. This little knife set was adorable and it had the wooden handle and only $11.99. And again, just some more storage containers. Now, some of these were marked down on clearance. Um, I couldn't find the price on the 10-piece food storage one, but they had like these little canisters with the wooden lids. I thought those were adorable. And then they had these like pantry containers where you could kind of decanter your stuff for only $12.79. And I loved these salad bowls, which I don't ever actually use a salad bowl, but I thought they were really pretty. I came across these wall sconces. You see a lot of people using those now like in their bedrooms. These were $24.99, I assume, for just one. These planters were cute. Some of them look like they have like the twine so you can hang them. Some of them didn't look like they had that. But $10.99 for those, you could use them even for just decor on shelves and stuff like that. This was so cute. I think it's pretty small. It didn't come with the chairs. It was only the dining table for marked down to $75. I actually almost got that myself. I like to keep citronella candles out on my back deck in the summer and this was a really big one for only $9.99. Then I came across these diffusers. I thought all of these were adorable. These would make great gifts um, and they come in like some different styles for $14.99. These little planters were cute. They had just some faux greenery which actually looked real but look at the little faces on them and they came in several different colors. I thought those were really cute. These sets would make great gifts. It was like little house shoes and a headband that matched. They had pink, they had leopard, which is my jam. They had gray, all kinds of different colors. That would just make a great gift. These bed trays were cute. You could fix up like an extra bedroom and put that on the end of the bed and make a little tray just for display. That would be cute. And I love these two pack of glasses. They were marked down to only $4.99. Okay, we're back home, and let me just tell you, this is going to be short and sweet. I didn't pick up very much at all, but what I did pick up, y'all, this was like $82, which is unbelievable to me because I used to shop at Aldi all the time, and if I spent $82, my buggy was overflowing, and I had meat, and I had all the fresh fruits and vegetables, and I didn't hardly get anything today, and it was $82, which just blows my mind, but I know that's just the reality 
um, that we live in these days. So let me just show you what I picked up. Picked up some of the Friendly Farms non-fat Greek yogurt tropical fruit flavor for my husband. He likes the tropical flavors. This one was raspberry lemonade, Chobani. I thought I would like that one, so I picked up a couple of those. These perfect bars, we love to snack on these. You can buy them in like a little snack size, which I prefer. This is kind of a bigger one, and sometimes my husband and I will just like split one of these in half. They're good. The Moo Tubes, my kids love these. The cotton candy and melon berry flavor. Picked up some of the Stoke Cold Brew. They usually have it there. Um, it's not necessarily any cheaper there, but I was just there and we needed some. The avocado oil. Now, I do love to buy this there because um, it's very expensive. And I mean, of course, it's expensive there too. But uh, this is the only thing I cook in, this or pure butter. And so, I needed some. I was completely out. They did have the Rayo's Marinara, which this was like six, seven dollars. I like to buy it at Sam's. Uh, because you can get like a two or three packet Sam's and it's really the best deal. But I forgot to see if they had any to put on my Sam's order. So I just picked this one up here. Their pickles are good. And they, their pickles have no colors, no artificial colors, and no high fructose corn syrup. Pickles are hard to find that don't have yellow food dye. So that's just a little tip for you. Uh, got some of this hazelnut spread for the boys. They really love Nutella uh, my youngest can't actually eat Nutella. He can't have artificial vanilla flavor, and Nutella has vanillin as an ingredient in it, and so he can't have that. Excuse me. You're not supposed to be in here. Did I leave the door open? Excuse me, sir. Okay, hold on. Let's get Ollie out. He just snuck in. Are you a good boy? Are you supposed to be inside? Oh, my. Are you a good boy? I must have left the garage door open. Okay, hold on. Anyway, got him out. I must have left that door open when I was unloading all the stuff. So, got this hazelnut spread for Colton to try. Uh, I picked up a couple of these. This Never Any brand is uh, fairly decent on ingredients on like these little Lunchables. So, picked those up just to throw in the boys' lunches. We're counting down to the end of school. We don't have very much time left, so we're counting down. When I go in Aldi, I always am really bad to pick up a lot of snack food and um, chips. Chips are the worst, but these are delicious. Cauliflower tortilla chips, nacho flavored. They are delicious, but warning, you will want to just eat the whole bag, and the whole bag is like four and a half servings, so like 10 chips is one serving, but Anyway, my boys love these. They've ate these since they were babies. My boys and my husband love these pretzels. They're seasoned, the pub style. And then I just got some good old nacho chips back there because we're probably going to have nachos one night. I picked this up. It just stood out to me. looked like it'd be a good side. It was in the frozen section. Garlic Parmesan roasted vegetables. So it's got grilled red onion, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. So I thought that would just be like a quick and easy side. We'll throw it in the oven maybe and roast it up. I always usually pick up this little salad kit, Southwest chopped salad kit. Um, it's good and that would be good for like lunches. My boys love the cotton candy grapes. They are good. I mean, I like them too, but they had those and they looked pretty good. Sometimes they don't look that great. I see some that don't look that great, but anyway, pick those up for the boys. And a couple of these little cookie things. Now, I know the chocolate chip are good, but I thought we would try the key lime this time. And these are good. They don't have any artificial um, ingredients. And so, pretty good. Pretty good ingredients. And, like, they are also peanut allergy friendly. So, that might be just something good if you have to send stuff, like, for your kids to school. If they have a peanut allergy in their class, that would be good. But, yeah, we thought we'd try the key lime. And then I picked up some of these little bagel skinnies. I thought I'm really bad to not eat breakfast. So I thought I might make me some little breakfast sandwiches on these, or I might make Jason some little breakfast sandwiches to take for work. I thought that'd be something different. And that is all I picked up y'all for $82. That is it for today's video, y'all. What about those prices? How are the prices where you live? Aldi used to be my go-to when I needed to budget and stay on track. I just don't really think it's any cheaper anymore. I just, I'm, I'm just not sure that it is. I, I just don't go that much anymore, mainly just for convenience because I can just do the Walmart grocery pickup. Um, but y'all tell me, what do you think? What do you think about all these prices? I know prices are extremely high everywhere, but like I said, I felt like Aldi used to be my go-to for 
you know, budget friendly groceries. And I just don't see that anymore here at our Aldi. But y'all let me know in the comments what you think about that. Did you see any like home items that you liked? Let me know in the comments if you saw anything. I was very impressed with the rugs. They had a lot of outdoor stuff that I thought was really nice. And it's neat to just go in there every weekend. If you get their circular or you can look it up online and see their uh, weekly ad and you can see what they got going on. So I hope y'all enjoyed shopping with me today and enjoyed my little tiny $80 haul. And y'all come back next week. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesday. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's completely free. It just lets YouTube know that you enjoy watching my videos and you want to see more. So I hope y'all will come back next week and we'll see you then. Bye.